Hi, I'm Jay, and today on Jay's World Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make biscuits. So I have a confession to make. The first time I heard the phrase biscuits and gravy, all I could think about was this. And that did not sound appealing at all. Because in South Africa, biscuits are something that you have with tea. It's cookies. And they're sweet. And they're tasty. And they're crunchy. And that was totally not what I was picturing. But then someone actually made me biscuits and gravy and it was delicious. This really simple and versatile recipe can go with just about any kind of saucy dish. Doesn't just have to be a gravy. Uh, this is a, an amazingly quick and easy recipe. Let's have a look at the ingredients. For this very straightforward recipe, you're going to need two cups of flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, a half a cup of butter, three quarters of a cup of milk. And you can add half a cup of fresh chopped parsley, which is an optional ingredient. I'm not going to use it today. You're also going to need an egg wash, and we'll talk about how to make that as we need to. Let's put this all together. Putting this recipe together could not be simpler. So you're going to take a large mixing bowl and into that you're going to add your flour, your sugar, your salt and your baking powder. And I'm just going to use a wooden spoon real quick just to sort of mix that all up. What we're going to do is we're actually going to be cutting in our butter. So it's kind of handy if you have a cutting tool like this, uh, which is very easy to uh, use when you are putting butter into flour, or you can use the just a regular butter knife to do that. Um, but you want to make sure that all your flour and your other dry ingredients are well mixed, nice and evenly. And now we're going to throw in our butter. And I've kept this butter pretty cold, so really it's just out the fridge, but I have cubed it up into smaller cubes so that it is easier to work with. And now we're just going to cut it in using our pastry cutter. And you are going to have to get your hands in there and you know how I feel about doing that. I really don't mind. But this is certainly going to help at first to break up the butter into slightly more manageable pieces about the size of a pea. Once your butter is sort of a manageable, manageable size, you can just carry on using your hands to basically rub that flour and butter together. And of course you can do this in a electric mixer such as a KitchenAid or something like that if you have one available, but if not, way easier to use your hands. All right, and then you can see the texture of this coming together. Kind of rough, does not have to be perfect. And at this point now you're going to add in your milk and I always recommend just starting off just pouring it around and I'd use a spoon at first just to sort of stir it a little bit before we tack our hands back in there. And the dough is going to be slightly wet, that's okay because we're going to be adding some flour as we roll this out. And so now we're going to roll these out 
And as always, a little bit of flour on our surface. And we're definitely going to need some because this is quite a wet dough. So be quite liberal with your flour. And I'm just going to add some flour to my hands and knead this out just to smooth it out a little bit. You want to make sure that your rolling pin is not going to stick to it. And you're going to roll it out to probably about half an inch in thickness. And I'm just using a very simple cookie cutter and I'm just going to cut out shapes. Pop them onto our baking sheets. And once we've cut up all of our dough, we're going to use a very simple egg wash, which is just an egg with about a tablespoon of water uh, beaten up. And we're just going to brush the tops of each of these. And once that's done, we're going to throw them into a 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 minutes. We're going to keep an eye and just when they start turning golden brown on top, that's when they're ready to come out. They're going to sort of double up in size and then we can have a taste. So after just 15 minutes, I took these out of the oven and the bottom is nicely golden brown. The top is nicely golden brown as well. And they just really do just fall apart. It just makes layers and layers of this wonderful pastry and really great if you are having some kind of dish that's got a sauce, uh, like a stew, chicken stew, like I mentioned before. These are just perfect and I love them with a nice good helping of butter on the top and I can't stop eating these so I'm going to have a, a bite of one of them. Mm. Oh man. Now I know what you're going to say, how much I love my butter, but there's nothing like this light, rich, uh, and yet not overpowering flavored pastry with just perfectly melted butter on top. That's definitely, definitely a recipe you need to try. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And remember to turn on notifications so that you know when my next video drops. Remember too, that you can follow me on my social media, my Facebook and my Instagram. Those links are also below in the comment section. And remember that if you'd like to support this channel, you can support me via my Patreon. And that link is also below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.